guys welcome to my channel uh, this channel aims to provide you with information about the Gambia so if you are thinking of moving to the Gambia or you just want general information you have come to the right place so please subscribe for additional videos that I will be uploading on a regular basis and to all my current subscribers thank you for the love thank you for your response thank you for your comments and they are greatly appreciated from time to time I get a lot of emails from uh, some of my current subscribers. Uh, they ask me a lot of questions and one of the questions that uh, I've been asked recently was how easy is it to find a husband in the Gambia? Many people in here would probably you know, like to know answers to this particular question. So in today's video I will be addressing this particular question to the best of my ability based on my knowledge. Uh, if there are things in this video that uh, you know uh, my Gambian brothers and sisters would like to add to, you are more than welcome. So let's dive into the question. How easy is it to find a, a husband in the Gambia? My response to this would be like, as soon as you get off the plane, as soon as you land in Banjul, um, women are often approached by uh, the Gambian men who want to get to know you. They will offer their phone numbers and are very curious to, to find out about where you are staying. They also want to take you out. Uh, uh, but, you know, this depends on what you are looking for. Many women who visit the Gambia are single women and most of them have not received a compliment in years. So arriving in the Gambia to receive so much attention can ignite the fire in any woman who has been neglected for so many years. And Gambia seems like the perfect place in which to escape the dark, lonely nights in the West and find romance. The Gambia offers a year-round sun, sand, beaches and also the excitement of a real fun-filled African holiday. The image on the tourism websites are quite intoxicating. The smiling coast not only represent a blissful holiday but the chart for romance and, and an end to a lonely life locked up in your house or apartment with only a cat or a dog to keep your company or where the only type of outlook on life is a daily dose of the various soaps on the TV. Meeting a man in the Gambia is a relatively easy affair because most Gambian people are friendly. They will talk to you whether you are just strolling down the street, on a beach, in a restaurant or in a nightclub. The vast amount of interest from men in the Gambia is, is in contrast to the attention that many women, especially older women, receive in the West. I've had discussion with a few Gambian women and I've asked them the question, how about, you know, how does Gambian men see women once they reach the age of 30? They suggest that once they reach the age of 30, the prospect of getting married is highly unlikely. I've, I've yet to speak to a sample of Gambian men to get their views on the matter, but the floor is open and uh, you know, comments from men watching this video to give their views on the matter, you know, will be most welcome. So with this in mind that the 30-year-old woman has passed her sell-by date, uh, why do Gambian men marry older foreign women? And why do older women lose themselves in these relationships? In a lot of cases, uh, there is a need on both sides that is particular to individual relationships. Everybody's story is different. For example, a lady that I will call Mary visited the Gambia. She had just lost her mother and brother to an illness and had just been recently uh, divorced in the UK. She said she needed a holiday and some happiness in her life. So after seeing the beaches uh, on the adverts for Gambia, she said she knew in her heart that this was the ideal place to go. She met a man on holiday while she was there who was uh, 20 years her, her junior, older than her son, younger than her son. This marriage did not last, but this did not deter her from marrying a second Gambian man after she split from her first Gambian husband. 
I do not know uh, whether or not this uh, marriage will be successful, but I'm, I'm sharing this with you just to show you that it's relatively easy to get married in the Gambia, despite of age or any other barriers that would prevent women from taking the plunge in their own country. Whatever the reasons for getting married to someone uh, you met on holiday, and you know, for this case in the Gambia, uh, there are many things to consider before jumping the broom. So you've met your Prince Charming or your Queen in the Gambia, and you decide uh, you want to get married. Gambian society is predominantly Muslim and a lot of the men that you will meet are Muslim and you know they're allowed to have up to four wives so men have the advantage if you are willing to share a husband then that is one of the obstacles out of the way some women have opted to share a husband with the idea that half a loaf is better than none and at least you know everything is legal and above board and that they've been accepted into a family. Where you've decided to, to share, um, some women have their own dwellings and the man would visit you when it's your turn. During, during that time, the man is supposed to give you all his un, undivided attention uh, before going off to share his time with the next wife. One thing is very clear, you must respect your husband at all times. Some men will treat their wives like they treat children. Is it too good to be true? Does it seem too good to be true? Are you ready to be part of the family and play your part? It is not like in the West where you can live as an isolated nuclear family. If you are coming from the West, you, you need to leave the notion of the independent woman behind um, if you are intending to get married. In the West, it is notable that women in most cases have the upper hand. But if you are thinking of getting married to a, a Gambian man or an African man in most cases, you must consider every demand of his culture, which includes dressing modestly and giving him the, the upper hand. It is easy to get married in the Gambia. Some marriages are successful, uh, some can be quite heart rendering. If there is a conflict of interest, cultural differences, and if you fail to meet each other's needs materially or the need for love. You hear many stories of women uh, who say they've been jilted and women who say they've been duped. Uh, this is because many women believe that the holiday romance or the honeymoon period will never fade or they mistakenly believe that they have found true love and if you believe that you have met the love of your life and you are ready to, to, to marry, there are many things to consider in order to avoid a heartbreak. Are you ready to share if, if the need arises? Are you ready to adapt to the cultural differences and are you aware of them? How vast is the age difference between you? Are you applying common sense? Are you sure that uh, he or she really loves you? How do you measure this? What does your family back home think about the marriage? Is it going to cause chaos in your family and break you up? This reaction is quite common amongst boys who don't take it lightly that their mother is marrying a man who is the same age or younger than he is. Some girls will react the same way in relation to their fathers getting married to a girl who is the same age as her. They don't consider it appropriate to inherit a stepmother or father who is the same age as they are. Have you considered the pros and the cons? I know by now many people will be saying that I'm an ageist, but there is no point in rushing, rushing into a marriage purely because you think you're in love without considering the pros and the cons. I know that there is often no logic in love but there is no point in marrying a man who is young enough to be your son or grandson then resorting to complaining that you've been duped. The same applies to the man who is thinking of marrying a younger beautiful female. You know and it's useless to say that you, you, you know you've gone into this marriage you have not considered all the factors and then you come and say you've been duped. Would you marry in the same way if you are in your country of origin? Be prepared for better or for worse. 
Whatever happens at the end of the day, that is a choice that you will have to make. But consider your willingness to adapt to cultural differences, age differences, and the requirements on both sides. So to answer your question, how easy is it to, to find a man, a husband, wife in the Gambia? It is very easy, but it depends on what you're looking for and what you're willing to accept and what you're willing to lose or gain. So thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again next time. Gambia, Gambia.